I actually don't think when Jordan Henderson's on the ball trying to cut open defences from deep positions, what I call the other side of the team's midfield, where you've got ten players in front of him, I, I just don't think it's anywhere near his best position. So this meeting or this sort of conversation that he had with Jurgen Klopp where he said, I want to play further forward again. And, we, you know, you mentioned it, I think, a couple of weeks ago. I was like, hallelujah. Absolutely. This is... And I watched his touch map. This is his touch map. John Henderson, for me, this is the area which I think he should operate. The idea of John Henderson having the ball off his back four in that location there, which is where he'd been playing, to be fair, most of the games, I, I never see him as that type of player. I'm seeing him in Southampton doing exactly the same in that Friday night football. On a personal point of view, forget the fact that he plays for Liverpool, this is his position. I'm not sure why he's ever been indulged to go back and play as a, a quarterback stroke. You're saying it, you're saying you use the word indulge, you're not indulge, because that, that's more a case of you, that he's forced himself to play to play there and the manager. It was Klopp who actually put him. I always remember a game early in Klopp's reign, it was away at Burnley, and Liverpool lost 2 0. And I think Liverpool, it was, it was a crazy, Liverpool had like sort of 80% possession, but lost 2 0 at Burnley. And that was sort of, it felt like. I'm just trying to think. I think it was almost the first time he'd played in that position, and the supporters afterwards were going crazy. There's no way yeah. he could he can play there, uh, and I think him initially going there because no supporter, every probably Liverpool supporter was thinking what you were thinking. Why is Jordan Henderson playing there? But Klopp stuck with it. I'm like, no, he can play in number six. Uh, He's apologised for it now, hasn't he? I know, but what I'm saying is Liverpool get to Klopp Liverpool. Yeah. I mean, no, I, he hasn't apologised for it. No, he's he really joking. But what yeah. I'm saying is, I think. I agree with you. I think Jordan Henderson's best position is that position. But I don't think we should totally dismiss what he did there. At, he got, Liverpool playing the Champions League final, playing semi-finals, quarter-finals, getting to a Europa League final with him in that position. I, I, what I, I don't think, and what, what you're saying is, the energy he's got... I think the holding position is more about... Listen, Fabinho in that position, Fabinho can't run. Jordan Henderson can run. But Fabinho in that position, I think, is better than Jordan Henderson. He, the way he maybe reads situation, he snuffs things out more, even though he hasn't got the legs of him. Do you understand what I mean? It's, it's a different type of position. The position you're talking about is that's playing to his strengths because it's all about energy and running. The holding uh, role probably wasn't playing to his strengths. Do you think he's got a future in no, this position, the position he's playing now for Liverpool? That is his position. Well, it's not so much a future because that is, as you say, it's a, it, that is maybe more of his uh, position. We've talked a lot about the energy that, that he needs in that role and he's. Well, yesterday, he got, listen, yesterday he got subbed after 75 yeah. minutes. That might be the case as his career goes on. But what I would say is, and it's not for me to question Jurgen Klopp and how he's played him for the last two or three years. Jurgen Klopp's doing the most amazing job at Liverpool. But having worked with him and watched him and looking at him, there was definitely a feeling that you want... And he wanted to take on that mantle, I think, of Steven Gerrard. There was a feeling at Liverpool that he could step into that do, role. Do you think, do you think but, it's him in, in terms of actually... You know, we've all been players. A bit of both. So when you were a... Say, for instance, you were a... A solid fullback, but as you, as you go forward, you want to you want to attack, you want to you, you, you want to become an attacking fullback. And do you think there's a case of that actually? Okay, I can do this as a midfield player, but I want to improve in this. I want to be better than that. Do you know what I mean? That because he is that type of lad, isn't he? Oh, that absolutely. type of attitude oh, of being. Known, this is not malicious in terms of this wasn't him getting carried yeah, away. Yeah. This was him trying to develop his career and trying to sort of further his career by thinking I can do different things. I can mm. now start to take free kicks. I can now start to get on the ball a lot more. He's improved his passing enormously. He's not a bad passer, by the way. He's a good passer. But actually, I think his main impact in matches, you've seen it in the influence he's had on that Liverpool team in these last three matches, since that Southampton game when he came on, where all of a sudden the ball goes over his head and his reaction is, I'm going to run forward. Not to support the attack, to sustain the attack. That is what he's best at. And through that, he'll then get involved in the attack and he'll do things instinctively. He's an instinctive player. I don't think he's somebody that when he's got time on the ball, looking up with loads of time, he's going to be like one of those, like De Bruyne. And we saw De Bruyne on Saturday. De Bruyne's played as a right winger. He's now going back the way, but he can... He's an unbelievable but, player. But I think there's no doubt for, for months, maybe even years, we've been spending with Liverpool's midfield. Is it at the case, at the, the vital time of the season, Klopp has almost fell upon a midfield in some ways, because it wasn't his idea to play Jordan Henderson there. People keep talking about this chat they had. It wasn't a case of him saying to Jurgen Klopp, I want to play there, and him saying yes. He didn't say yes, he put him on the bench at Southampton. Jordan Henderson got himself in that position because of his performance coming on in that position. But it, it, you look at the midfield sort of balance now, Henderson, you know, was getting in the box. He was, he was brilliant against Porto midweek. Kite has got a couple of goals, even the goal for Mane. The reason man has got a free header is because Kite has made a run into the box, mm. uh, attracts Azpilicueta. Maybe 
just at the right time, Jürgen Klopp's actually found mm. his midfield. Yeah. We always talk as well, consistently on Sky Sports down the years, I've heard this, that you, to be considered a great player, you have to win titles. He might be a title winner at the end of this season. No, there are some great players who haven't won titles. You know, Steven Steve Gerrard, you know, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Jamie Carragher for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Carragher for a, it was the one I was thinking of. It's been a great presenter, you've got to do Monday Night Football. <laughs> 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 no, I think, look, <laughs> Liverpool are in with a massive chance. I agree with what Jamie's just said. What did you I... play for? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let that go now. We'll be going all night. No, but I do think that, to be fair, this midfield that Liverpool have played since the Southampton changes looks a lot more balanced and a lot better with Jordan Henderson playing further forward. Team of Carragher's. Oh, don't we get them round me now. Come on, you know I love you. Best player that Liverpool ever had.